Imagine your body running on optimal power. You're feeling healthy, you're feeling young, and you're feeling energetic. If that interests you, keep watching. Health Explorer Neil Fellows here. To get healthy and fit and stay healthy and fit, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of all of our latest uploads. In this video, we're looking at the question, why liver detox? We're looking at why we need to detox the liver and how to do it. Think about this. Your liver is one of the largest organs in your body. It helps to remove waste from your body and it also handles nutrients and medicines. It's suggested that a liver cleanse can keep your body running smoothly, purges toxins, keeps your cells young, increases your energy and prevents life-threatening disease. If that sounds like something you're interested in, Keep watching. Trish Tucker May helps women heal digestive discomforts. She's also an award-winning nutritionist with Total Wellness Club, and you can read all of her reviews on her page, which I'll put a link to down below. And Trish is also an expert on liver detoxing. So Trish, why do we need to do a liver detox and cleanse? Okay, so you know we, we have this toxicity that builds up over the years of unhealthy living. And the liver is, you know, is, is constantly cleaning the blood. So all of our blood goes through the liver every three minutes. And the liver has this fantastic role to clean the blood, but the liver also has a really important role when it comes to producing bile, helping take those toxins out of the cells and produce the bile and help get them into the small intestine and out of the body. But also the liver has an important role to play in hormones. So ladies, particularly of a certain age, you know, if we get over the age of 40 and we're struggling with tiredness and night sweats and constipation and belly bloat, then it's a good indication that our liver is really struggling. So it's good to give our liver, you know, the cleaning powerhouse of the body, the best support that it can have so lighten the load on the liver is very important yeah, yeah. so the liver obviously clearly a very important um, part of our body um mm -hmm. you mentioned some of the symptoms there but are there other symptoms as well absolutely look if you are struggling with regular headaches if you've got bad breath if you've got a coating on your tongue and it's a, it's a really good idea to check out your the health of your tongue every morning uh, if you're, you, you know, one of these people that's feeling really tired all the time and you've got these dark circles under your eyes and that is even if you've had a really good night's sleep, you're still feeling really tired and you've got this real, you know, dark circles under the eyes. If you're struggling with night sweats, um, if you've got heat on the tongue, uh, if you're constipated or bloated or even if you've got um, loose stools and IBS type symptoms, uh, look, if you're craving sugar or salt, if you're feeling anxious and agitated, if you have jaw pain, uh, if you have achy joints, flu-like symptoms, um, swollen lymph nodes, uh, even some of the broader symptoms could be allergies, uh, psoriasis, food cravings, as I said, um, constant bladder infections, difficulty sleeping, you know, all of those signs are a, a good, good, good chance, good sign that you need to, you know, support your liver. Wow. There is, what I always find fascinating when, when I'm interviewing experts in sort of health and wellness is that interconnectivity in the, in the body, you know, there's something going on somewhere and um, how it highlights itself in, in a variety of different ways. Um, it's quite amazing. So, how would we really know that we, it's a liver detox that we need to have? Well, I would always start with the liver. So when we, we as a nutritionist, I look at the digestive system mm. and I say that, you know, the body will whisper a long time before it starts to shout. Now, if when I'm mentioning a lot of those symptoms, you're thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got bloating, I've got gas or I've got food sensitivities or I've got rashes, I've got difficulty sleeping then we would always look at the main seven organs that are associated with the digestive system. And we look at always north to south. So we look at the mouth, the oral microbiome. We look at the esophagus, are you swallowing well? 
and then we look at the stomach and the liver and the pancreas all very much part of you know that important role in digestion so you know i i, I would always look at the liver as part of the overall elimination pathways so that the link between the the cell the lymphatic system the liver and the gallbladder the small intestine and the large intestine and so much work needs to be done on that liver as the main contributor, the main cleaning force of that pathway. So, uh, yes, I think it's always a good place to start. Yeah, amazing. So how could we, we do a liver detox at home naturally? Okay. There's some really simple things that you can do, firstly, and preparation for um, supporting those main pathways. So we're talking about really supporting the seven channels of elimination. So bowel, liver, kidneys, lung, skin, lymphatic system, and blood. Mm. There is a, quite a bit, bit of preparation that you could do for a liver cleanse. Firstly, eliminate toxic things from your life, like processed food. Uh, wheat and dairy are big culprits, especially if they're not organic because they're very heavily sprayed. And often it can be these environmental toxins that we're exposed to uh, that maybe are not so obvious. So fragrances, that classic little pine tree that hangs, swings in the, in the, in the car after you've had your car cleaned or if you get into an Uber, yeah. things like that. Be very aware of environmental toxins. Reduce your impact to obvious toxins. I mean, a big one, and I say ladies particularly because this is a very, it's become a very female problem. And, and a lot of the clients that I see are women over the age of 40. Mm. Booze is a massive one. So if you are, you know, enjoying a few glasses of wine every single night, you're pounding your liver and you're giving your liver so much extra work to do. And if you're not adequately hydrated. So there's a lot of preparation you could do in um, before you even consider a liver cleanse. So making sure you're adequately hydrated, you're drinking lots of water, some herbal teas, you're cutting out um, booze and processed foods and sugary foods. And then you can think about some really specific detox um, techniques like uh, doing a liver and a gallbladder flush. Now, a light version of this could be um, you would do this for five days and after your last, last meal in the evening, if you make sure you don't eat after 6 p.m. and then around about 10 p.m., just before you go to bed, have the juice of one lemon in a glass of water, crush up a garlic clove, put one tablespoon of organic olive oil and one chunk of ginger root. And you can blitz all of that up and have that as a tonic. So you can blitz it up in your food processor or in your Nutribullet and drink that just before you go to bed and do that for five consecutive days. And that is a fantastic cleanse for the liver. You could also do a much more intense one. I tell you, I've done this cleanse a couple of times, but it's the liver and the gallbladder flush. And I don't know whether you've heard of it or done it, but it's, um, it's talking about doing apple cider vinegar for six days before bed and then doing uh, a tonic, a, a protocol of Epsom salts and water uh, and um, olive oil and pink grapefruit juice and following that up with two or three enemas. Now, that is a really intense but powerful cleanse for the liver and the gallbladder. And what happens is that all these soft gallstones that are stored, like this calcification that is stored in the liver and the gallbladder is released. And what this does is it really promotes this extra bile flow, mm. this link between the gallbladder and the liver and make sure that the bile pathways are doing exactly what they can in helping get the toxins out of the body. So it is quite a, a, an intense cleanse and I do recommend the preparation beforehand. So a couple of weeks beforehand, really cutting down on the booze, making sure you're adequately hydrated, making sure your bowels are working effectively, you're, you're eliminating effectively every day and, uh, and, and, you know, really eliminate processed foods and lots of refined sugar and wheat from the diet in preparation for that cleanse. 
mm. and then introducing that cleanse and have you know very powerful effects yeah. very very powerful effects <laughs> i guess removing those things first of all actually makes the uh, the, the time when you actually do the, the full detox a little bit smoother because i guess it could be quite um painful wouldn't necessarily be the right word but it could be uncomfortable it can be it can be uncomfortable so if you go straight into and i see people when we used to do the um the retreats and the juice cleansing you know if you see people arrive to a retreat and they've done you know they've gone right tomorrow i'm going to do a juice cleanse so today i'm going to eat everything in the cupboard and i'm going to drink all my booze and i'm going to eat all my sugar yeah. and then of course the detox is going to be much harder and much mm -hmm. more uncomfortable because yeah. you'll get the full-on detox headaches and you know you'll feel really achy and feel like you're coming down with the flu and you know day two or day three of that cleanse would be very mm -hmm. hard um so i do encourage you know uh, incorporating enemas making sure you're adequately hydrated making sure you're supporting all those pathways so the lungs um, the blood, the kidneys, so, you know, getting out in fresh air, doing some gentle movement, exercise, breath work. Um, and, and enemas are a profound way to uh, reduce those uncomfortable detox symptoms that we, you know, we tend to have. And the other thing, of course, I'm mentioning, I'm not forgetting to mention coffee. Coffee's a big one. Um, you know, so if you're one of these people that has a few cups of coffee a day and you're prone to craving sweet things in the afternoon, then when you cut out that coffee and give your liver a break from that, you're going to feel probably by day two very headachy, but by day three, by day four, you feel like an entirely different person. It's, it's you know, it's a really good thing to do. Sure. Yeah. Really regularly, I think, you know, at least a couple of times a year, give yourself that break and give yourself a cleanse. Are there any other types of liver detox remedies that you would recommend? I do. Look, I, I think that grapefruit olive oil is fantastic. I do also recommend um, some supplements. So some of, the, um, some of the supplements I recommend are fantastic. Like they, they contain a lot of supportive herbs. So you've got uh, herbs like milk thistle is fantastic for uh, a general tonic for the stomach, the gallbladder and the liver, and that promotes the bile flow. So that's a really good um, ingredient. Some of the other ingredients like turmeric, the curcuminoids in turmeric is a powerful antioxidant yeah. and that helps to um, increase the total bile acid production and inhibits bacterial overgrowth. So yeah. that works very well. Um, artichoke and dandelion are amazing again for bile um, secretion and they help to regenerate um, the action of the liver cells which is fantastic um also licorice so uh, this great combination of turmeric milk thistle and licorice um is you know fantastic dandelion you know uh, back in the springtime i picked a lot of dandelions and i put them into some apple cider vinegar and that is a great tonic for the kidneys but also for the liver um, it contains a high amount of choline which is very important for the liver uh, so yes a few of those other 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 foods like beetroot, oriental radish, um, they're very, very good. Um, yeah, so some of those herbs work very well to support the liver. Also adaptogens. I've been doing a lot of work with adaptogens and they are fantastic for supporting those, um, you know, those elimination pathways. Amazing. Can you tell us a client story you know, with someone who has been struggling um, with, uh, with maybe liver symptoms and and then what happened to them? Yes, yes, okay. Um, I won't mention the name, but I had a client who, um, 48 year old mum of four, uh, really struggling with tiredness and anxiousness and was feeling so overwhelmed that she was almost contemplating suicide, which just makes my heart just, you know, I feel mm. so, um, you know, so sad for this situation. But what she was also presenting with, she was carrying a little bit of extra weight, um, but a lot of it was anxiety and overwhelm and irritability, which is, you know, irritation and anger and resentment are the emotions of the liver. Yeah. Um, but she also had a very strange skin rash all over her, up her torso, her shoulders and her arms. And she had lots of odd 
the lumps on her legs and these were a sign that the lymph was sluggish and it was really you know so I worked with her over a period of six weeks to firstly nourish herself in a very different way so four kids running on empty reaching for, not eating properly during the day like definitely skipping breakfast grabbing what was it what was left over off the kids plate before they go off to school yeah. and then lunch possibly skipping lunch and or, or having something like bread and butter and then you know come to late afternoon hangry kids come mm. home from school complete overwhelm and chaos in the house feeling teary um, and overwhelmed by the workload of having to then feed, you know, a family of six. Sure. Um, and then again, reaching for the wrong food. So reaching for processed meats like salami cheese in the fridge. So what we did was firstly, we started to nourish her in a different way. So provide meal plans and recipes to make the shopping easier, make the planning of the meals easier. Here, just eat this, follow it to the T. So getting much more nourishment, fat and proteins in earlier in the day and eliminating the booze and the coffee because she's running on empty and you know drinking several times a week, mm. thinking, oh, gin and tonic, I really need that or a glass of wine, yeah. um, relying heavily on several coffees a day. So eliminating all of that, making sure she's adequately hydrated, making sure she's drinking water and herbal teas and um and then put her you know guided her through some supplements that we could add in to support the liver especially the milk thistle and the dandelion and support the hormones because naturally perimenopause all that was coming into the picture and honestly within three days she's starting to feel the difference with the meals um she's starting to feel nourished and by the end of you know week two the the legs are starting to go down the skin rash is starting to disappear. We did add in some digestive enzymes to help with the skin. Um, and then we started to add in some, some good probiotics. So she was already doing kefir and kombucha, but really the body was really, you know, struggling, um, you know, to put that good bacteria in. And within a couple of weeks, you know, she is a totally different person. She's positive. She's much more even keeled in her moods. Her, the lumps on her legs have dissipated. The skin's really clearing up and, you know, you're looking at a complete different person. Like this person is, you know, is so much more positive about life um, and feeling that she's able to cope with her workload. And they were, you know, some quite small changes, but, you know, massively life changing mm. for her. I, did, I keep saying it every time we're, we're interviewing people that this is why I do what I do. Um, I just love hearing stories that where people's lives have changed through working with someone like yourself, um, yeah. making the simplest of changes that just, you know, a small change here becomes a massive change down the line sometimes. Um, and it's a different life suddenly. And so I love hearing stories like that, Trish. Thank you for, for sharing that. Um, Trish, do you have um, any sort of final liver detox tips? Sure. Look, we're coming into the silly season. And of course, you know, in the UK, we're in lockdown. Parts of Australia are back in lockdown. I think it's very easy. And I think in the first lockdown, we all went, right, lots of home baking and cakes and, uh, and wine, just anything to get us through. This is so weird. And then, of course, we realised, oh, we're, we're in for the long haul here. This is, you know, I can't, um, you know, I, I can't be living like this. And so I think this second round of lockdown, a lot of um, people have been saying, no, this is time to really shake it up and um, make sure that I'm not going to drink and eat my way through lockdown. So I do really encourage you to have a think about all those choices that you're making every day and are they moving you closer to a healthy living or are they moving you further away? And I do know that the biggest culprits booze you know so if you are heavily relying on a glass or three every day to get you through ladies particularly um coffee yeah again if you're relying on uh empty energy or you're robbing energy from the future by having lots of coffee to get you through then and and, and it means that you're also dehydrated you're giving your body this message of dehydration 
So, you know, it may be a, a, a small shift that you're drinking more water, you're drinking less coffee, you're drinking less wine, and that will give your body, uh, your, your liver a break. Um, and, and then you can go from there, you can think, okay, what else can I eliminate? Processed foods, sugar, refined foods, um, lots of wheat, you know, they're all bombarding your body with these toxins. And then also think about environmental toxins. Where are you being exposed to false fragrances in your beauty regime or in your cleaning regime? Because they will all impact your gut health and they'll impact your liver as well. I know you specialise in working with uh, with women as well, um, with, uh, with with these kind of things, with the detoxes, etc. Um what just tell us a little bit about what you would do what what you would take someone through what process you would go through with them i love to work with with um ladies particularly look i i, I mean i do work with some men but i particularly love working with ladies over the age of 40 because um i know so many women are struggling out there with belly bloat and erratic hormones and really struggling as they transition through perimenopause and menopause and so the process that I take women through, and this is where we get the most results, is an eight-week program. And we really start to see results um, around week six, like dramatic transformation, where the energy levels are way up. They're sleeping so much better. They're feeling so much better in themselves. They're seeing this shift in their self-esteem because they're supporting themselves in a different way. So I take them through from nourishing to cleansing to repairing the digestive tract, to then realigning hormones and rebalancing hormones and then realigning with energy and purpose and passion so you feel like you, you know, you, you, you feel so different. So yeah, it's, a, it's really a, an eight week process that really gets the results. Fantastic. Trish, what I will do is I will link people to your um, profile on Total Wellness Club because you have so many fantastic reviews on the uh, on the profile. For everyone watching this as well, Trish is an award winner uh, with us as well because of the number of um, reviews that she's collected. Um, so she's done a fantastic job uh, with her clients and you can read all about those. What I got from um, listening to Trish really here was the importance that the liver has in our body and the importance of doing a cleanse for the liver. Um, so I wanna invite you to join me um, with a challenge. I'm gonna take um, what Trish suggested that we do, for five days, um, the liver and gallbladder flush. Um, 10 o'clock every night, I'm gonna have um, a lemon juice, a garlic clove, um, and uh, a tablespoon full of olive oil and some ginger and blitz it up as she suggested, and take that as a bedtime drink for five days. So. Are you going to join me on that challenge? You know what? It could be life changing if you do. You can see my findings from this challenge in our challenge roundup video, which is a monthly summary covering all the challenges our experts shared. To get that video and all our latest health and wellness uploads, including interviews and reviews, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified whenever we post. And if this channel can help your friends and family, please share it with them too. Also, if you want to get proactive with your health, Total Wellness Club are developing health quests over at questly.life. Join while we're developing the site and get access to health quests that immediately personalize your health. You'll get to identify which of 10 critical health categories need your attention. You'll be able to track your progress and you'll be able to help us develop the platform. I'll put a link in the description below and I'll see you in the next video.